हेलो एवरीवन टुडे क्लास वन एकोलॉजी एंड इट रिलेवेंस टू मैन इंट्रोडक्शन एकोलॉजी में डिफाइंड एज द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स विथ ईच अदर एंड विथ देयर एनवायरनमेंट एकोलॉजी आल्सो प्रोवाइड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ इको एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज अर्थ रिसोर्सेस इन वेस्ट दैट लिव द एनवायरनमेंट हेल्थी फॉर फ्यूचर जनरेशंस Ecology is mainly concerned with the biological connections and processes of organisms, land, water, etc. It can be referred as the scientific study of the interactions that determine the distribution and abundance of organism. Out ecology, the branch of ecology that discusses about the relationship of an organism to its environment. Sink ecology, the branch of ecology that discusses about the connection of different classes, animals and plants to their common environment. Principles of ecology: All living organisms and their environment are mutually reactive, affecting each other in various ways. Animal population, flora and fauna are interdependent throughout the environment. Components in ecology are dynamic. and works as a sieve selecting our organism for growth and others for decay the species maintain uniformity in structure function reproduction growth and development by preservation of its genetic pool modification in organism of ecology takes place through growth dispersal reproduction death and decay under similar climatic conditions there may be simultaneous development of more than one community and some of which may even reach their climax or critical stage next ecosystem definition ecosystem is community of interacting organisms and their physical environment an ecosystem is a subpart of ecology ecosystem is place like forest taiga grassland desert still water river stream coral reef etc develop developing productive and sustainable in ecosystem the rate of biomass production is called productivity the portion of fixed energy a tropic level passes on to the next tropic level is called production productivity in ecosystem is of two kinds that is primary and secondary green plants fix solar energy and accumulate it in organic forms as chemical energy as this is the first and the basic form of energy storage the rate at which the energy accumulates in the green plants or producers is known as primary productivity productivity is a rate function and is expressed in terms of dry matter produced or energy captured per unit area of land per unit time it is more often expressed as energy in calories per centimeter square per year or dry ma- uh, dry organic matter in grams per meter square per year hence the productivity of different ecosystems can be easily compared primary productivity has two aspects gross and net the total solar energy trapped in the food material by photosynthesis is referred to as gross primary productivity gpp however a good fraction of gross primary productivity is utilized in respiration of green plants the amount of energy bound organic matter created per unit area and time that is left after respiration is net primary productivity npp net productivity of energy is equal to gross productivity minus energy lost in respiration the rates at which the heterotrophic organi- organisms resynthesize the energy yielding substance are called secondary productivity here the net primary productivity results in the accumulation of plant biomass which serves the food of herbivores and decomposers it is notable that 
food of consumers has been produced by the primary producers and secondary productivity depends on the utilization of this food for the production of consumer biomass secondary productivity is the productivity of animals and saprobers in ecosystem next concept of productivity standing crop this is abundance of organisms existing in the area at any one time it may be expressed in terms of number of individuals as biomass of organisms as energy content or in some other suitable terms measurement of standing crops reveals the concentration of individuals in various populations of the ecosystem materials removed the second concept of productivity is the material removed from the area per unit time it includes the yield to men organisms removed from the ecosystem by migration and the material withdrawn as organic deposit uh, production rate the third concept of productivity is the production rate at which the growth processes are growing forward within the area the amount of material formed by each link in the food chain per unit of time per unit area or volume in the productive rate in the production rate okay. environmental factors affecting the productivity in ecosystem solar radiation and temperature moisture that is leaf water potential soil moisture fluctuation of pre precipitation and transpiration mineral nutrition that is uptake of minerals from the soil rise spear effects fire effects salinity heavy metals and nitrogen metabolism biotic activities that is grazing above the ground herbivores below ground herbivores predators and parasites and diseases of primary producers impact of human population that is population of different sorts ionizing radiations such as atomic explosions etc in aquatic systems productivity is generally limited by light which decreases with increasing water depth in depth ocean nutrients often become limiting for productivity next nitrogen is the most important nutrient limiting productivity in marine ecosystem the largeness of primary productivity depends on the photosynthetic capacity of producers and the existing environmental conditions such as solar radiation temperature and soil moisture in tropical conditions primary productivity may remain continuous throughout the year provided adequate soil moisture remain available while in temperate region pri primary productivity is limited by cold climate and a short snow free growing period during the year classification of ecology microbial ecology refers to the branch of ecology that studies microorganisms in their natural habitat next mathematical ecology applies the methodology of mathematical science to address the problems arising from the relationship of living beings with their environment it forms the basic it forms the basis for the formation of the theoretical theoretical statements of ecology ecology of recreation it studies the ecological relations between the human being and the nature in the recreational context it is of great importance for sustainable tourism and the proper management of natural protected areas for leisure purposes ecology of landscape it is focused in the study of the impact that the human groups can generate on the natural landscapes being the main a powerful enticing agent of the physical ecolo ecological dynamics of its surrounding example of ecology following are the few examples of ecology human ecology it focuses on the relationship between humans and the environment 
It emphasizes the impact human beings have on the environment and gives knowledge on how we can improve ourselves for the betterments of humans and the environment. Nietzsche Construction It deals with the study of how organisms alter the environment for the benefit of themselves and other living beings. For example, termites create a six feet tall mold and at the same time feed and protect their entire population. Plant ecology is a sub-discipline of ecology which studies the distribution and abundance of the plants. The effect of environmental factors upon the abundance of plants and the interactions among the among and between plants and other organisms. Examples of these are the distribution of temperate deciduous forests in North America, the effect of drought or flooding upon plant survival and competition among desert plants for water or effects of herd of grazing animals upon the compositions of upon the composition of grassland. Autotoxicity A type of intraspecific allelopathy where a plant species inhibits the growth of its own kind through the release of toxic chemicals into the environment. Autotoxicity meaning self-toxicity is a biological phenomenon whereby a species inhibits growth or reproduction of other members of its same species through the production of chemicals released in the environment. This phenomenon has been reported to occur in a number of weeds and crop plants in agroecosystem and wastelands causing the soil sickness. Besides, it plays a significant role in the orchards where it is the major reason of the replant problem. Natural forests and the coffee and tree plantations causing the regeneration problems. Not only the higher plants but even some ferns and algae are also reported to show this phenomenon. Some plants have even developed extensive mechanism to overcome this phenomenon whereas the others have adopted to, to it by making structural and ecological changes providing to them a competitive ecological advantage over the others. Although autotoxicity is a natural phenomenon providing selective benefit to the plants, yet the chemicals responsible for this have good potential for weed and pest management. Like allelopathy, it is a type of interference competitions, but it is a t- technically different. Autotoxicity contributes to intraspecific competition, whereas allelopathic effects refers to interspecific competition. Furthermore, autotoxic effects are always inhibitory, whereas allelopathy effects are not necessarily inhibitory, they may stimulate other organisms. This mechanism will result in reduced exploitative competition between between members of the same species and may contribute to natural thinning in the established communities. Inhibition of the growth of young plants will increase the availability of nutrients to older established plants. In cultivation, autotoxicity can make it difficult or impossible to grow the same species after harvest of a crop. For example, this is known in alfalfa and the tree Cunninghamia lanceolata. Other species displacing autotoxicity include the Rus juncus effusus and the grass lolium rigidum. Next importance or relevance of ecology to men. Conservation of environment. Ecology helps us to understand how our actions affect the environment. It shows the individuals the extent of damage we cause to the environment. Lack of understanding of ecology has led to the degradation of land and the environment. It has also led to the extinction and endangerment of certain species. For example, dinosaurs, white shark, mammoths, etc. Thus, the study of environment and organisms 
helps us to protect them from any damage and danger. Resource allocation. With the knowledge of ecology, we are able to know which resources are necessary for the survival of different organisms. Lack of ecological knowledge has led to scarcity and deprivation of these resources, leading to competition. Energy conservation. All organisms require energy for their growth and development. Lack of ecological understanding leads to the overexploitation of energy resources such as light, nutrition, and radiation, leading to its depletion. Proper knowledge of ecological requirements prevents the unnecessary wastage of energy resources, thereby conserving energy for future purposes. Eco friendliness. Ecology encourages harmonious living within the species and the adoption adoption of a lifestyle that protects the ecology of life. Ecological farming. Ecological farming is recognized as a high-end objective among the proponents of sustainable agriculture. Ecological farming is not the same as organic farming. However, there are many similarities and they are not necessarily incompatible. Ecological farming includes all methods including organic which regenerated ecosystem services like prevention of soil erosion, water infiltration and retention, carbon sequestration in the form of humus and increased biodiversity. Many techniques are used including no-till, multi-species, cover crops, strip cropping, terrace cultivation, shelter belts, pasture cropping, etc. Benefits Ecological farming involves the introduction of symbiotic species where possible to support the ecological sustainability of the farm. Associated benefits include a reduction in ecological depth and elimination of dead zones. Ecological farming is a pioneering practical development which aims to create globally sustainable land management systems and encourages review of the importance of maintaining biodiversity in food production and farming end products on foreseeable option is to develop specialized automata to scan and respond to soil and plant situations related to intensive care for the soil and the plants accordingly conserve Conversion to the ecological farming may best utilize the information age and become recognized as a primary user of robotics and expert systems. Next challenges. The challenge for ecological farming science is to be able to achieve a mainstream productive food system that is sustainable or even regenerative. To enter the field of ecological farming, location relative to the customer can reduce the food miles factor to help minimize damage to the biosphere by combustion engine emissions involved in current food transportation. Design of ecological farm is initially constrained by the same limitations as conventional farming, local climate, the soil physical properties, budget for biological budget for beneficial soil supplements manpower and available automatons however long term water management by ecological farming methods is likely to conserve and increase water availability for the location and require far fewer inputs to maintain fertility. Next principles. Certain principles unique to ecological farming need to be considered. Food production should be ecological in both origin and destiny. Integration of species that maintain ecosystem services will providing a selection of alternative products minimize food miles packaging 
energy consumption and waste define a new ecosystem to suit human needs using lessons from existing ecosystem from around the world apply the value of a knowledge base about soil microorganisms so that discoveries of the ecological benefits of having various kinds of microorganisms encouraged in productive systems such as forest gardens can be assessed and optimized for example in the case of naturally occurring microorganisms called denitrifies types of ecology behavioral ecology it focuses on how the living organisms react to biotic and abiotic factors in their environment physiology morphology and their behavior physiological ecology on animal focuses on whole animal function and alternation to ever changing environments these alternations have a tendency to maximize the fitness of animals population ecology it deals with studies of structure and dynamics of population that is factors that affect population and how and why a population varies over time a population ecology studies the interrelation of organisms with their environment by gauging properties of population rather than the behavior of the individual organisms next community ecology this deals with the interaction between the organisms that is the feeding relationships among species or who helps who who competes with whom and for what resources and how those interactions affect community structures uh, the organization of a biological community with respect to ecological interactions ecosystem ecology ecosystem ecology makes a unique contribution to understanding ecology by adding abiotic factors to the items analyzed alongside the biotic factors involved this interaction therefore involves all aspects of the environment and how they interact it includes understanding how things like climate and soil composition affect the behaviors and interactions of population from different species it also includes a wide range of factors to better understand the whole aspect of interaction between the living things and their environments or habitats thank you